Advertising's job is to sell the selling, market the message, and create a need where one does not exist. And they do this through a mystically hypnotic method called branding. Advertising loves to talk about the brand. They talk about being the brand, live the brand, become the brand. I, for one, would like to bend the brand over a table and fuck it up the ass. Who the hell cares? It's just noise, disturbance. But a brand, it's a construct so perfectly vacant as to be the ultimate canvas for advertising. You see a business, sad and desperate, comes to the agency and fairly dumps a box of broken half-assembled parts and springs and ideas on a conference room table and the agency intones, it is okay, you leave, we will see what we can make of this. And the business says, thank you, thank you so much because we have no idea what it is that we do or made or whatever we are. We will pay you handsomely. And then the wizards of marketing, copywriting, strategy, design, and pulling shit out of their asses, assemble, colorize, recapitulate, transmogrifize, and otherwise invent a brand. This is the most creative thing business ever does. Forget about product development, industrial design, bleeding edge technology. A phone is always a phone. A car, soda, soap, a brand. <laughs> might be a collection of words and pictures. It could be a sock puppet or all of the above. It could be a little fucking gecko that walks on two feet and talks with an Australian accent. From concept to commercial, tens of millions, hundreds of billions to say anything that sells something. Add up all the brain power and money spent and you could feed the entire fucking planet for the rest of the century and still have enough left to put every child in college. It's slick. Unctuous, slippery, you don't even know what you want or need as they slip it in surreptitiously before you can identify what you're watching to who they're selling. Once there was a commercial for Mercedes-Benz. It was like some kind of dream and dreamy pictures of Mercedes looking cool and rock musicians and then a voiceover breathing. You are gonna play bar chords and jam with Blue Oyster Colt. Remember, remember when you were gonna do those crazy creative things? Remember bar chords, that music in your band, that art project, painting? You were gonna, you were gonna, well don't sweat it! It's not those difficult bar chords anymore yet. Yeah, we know what you were going to do, but that's over now. Now you can buy things, material, concrete things just for you. That's the need that doesn't exist. You didn't want a Mercedes. Little blip on our radar of awareness festers the distraction, then becomes desire because we don't have enough, are not enough, and gotta fill that God-shaped hole in our souls. And the brand lives in our minds and hides in our lives. And everywhere you look, everywhere you turn, the world is one massive marketing communications machine. Bum bags, a small man plays a large accordion for change. Office building, steel, glass, refract, sun, merge, modern, discord, and symphony. Walking the streets activates a cacophonous barrage punctuated by taglines over images slathered with copy stamped by logos. Hey, hawker, knock off Gucci, luggage, names of brands of windows, stores, lights, signs, draw crowds. Sell the sizzle, steak, soup, sandwiches, prop shots, stock photo, perfect image, price right, copywriting, coin into codes, trigger off the shelf, over the counter, grab and go, line up to buy, look at life, time, glossy, weeklies, newsprint, dailies, and up to the second feed, spike with sting in the eyes. This American life a giant tumbling combine pulls every direction, subsumes resistance, masses powerless. The yawning want of desire sucks and sucks and sucks. And we want and we want and we never, ever, ever get. Right. Right. Right.